We're back! And we are on episode three, day two of investigation. Uh, um, I forgot what we're looking for, but I'm sure this will remind me just in case. October 18th, the Right and Cold Offices. <laughs> what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and the producer. That's right. Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's go to the studios. Alrighty. Time for research. I bet the lady's gonna be here. No one's here. Right. Now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody. What did she do? I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Shoot, what did she do? Hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. What? I wasn't going to eat them. Um. How do we get the studio to? I don't remember how we get the studio to. All right, October 18, Global Studios employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey. What's up? Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, oh, -ho, don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, oh, -ho, ho. Uh, actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. <laughs> oh? Oh. Well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbang. Right. See you later, then. Good luck with your investigation. So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? So it seems, I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick! If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Oh yeah, I think it, that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really Nick, we can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh oh. Nah, I think we should leave it on. They only just repaired it. And if we take it off, that assistant will get yelled at by you-know-who. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, I didn't expect her to take it that hard. Hmm. Oh, the other day's lunch was better on. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. T-bone and one of the plates minus a steak. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. It looks like a castle. Probably Neo-Old Tokyo Castle. <laughs> One of those electric power bicycles. I don't know about this. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? That must be the storage room. Do they keep the room? Uh-huh. We already talked about this. Alright, um... So we need to go to Studio 2. October 18th, Studio 1 entrance. Hey Nick, it looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the end of the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. This is Studio 2? I thought so. It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it's just not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. It looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? Let's go inside. You think it's okay? Oh, well, it's locked. 
Aw, oh, shucks. This chair looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. Some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too clue close. That fence looks dangerous. This looks like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. Hmm. Not much going on here. Let's go in studio one. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. Hmm. That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen. Yep, I've worked with those. Huh. What? What's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director. Or maybe steal Samurai. I think she's being serious. A backdrop for a stage. Must be used to the Steel Samurai show. Uh, that's the mountain Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from here? Uh, what, what the, I don't even know. Okay, we already read this. Maybe we can look, look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Uh, right, sorry. This girl is out there. No clues here. Look at the camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Yay, smile, Nick. You're a star. Stop that. I'm moving stuff in. Um, well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. <laughs> Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? That's funny. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left in the place. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for a steak. But something doesn't does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. An incinerator apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in suit. They must not clean it very much. And turn off for the day. Let's go to the employee area. Go in the dressing room. Mm -hmm. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it uh, while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer is planning on doing then. Hmm. She's got a point. Oh. Interesting. Wait, Nick. What now? These snacks, they passed the expiration date. Then don't eat them. They're snacks. They're meant to be eaten. Mr. Powers bag, wonder what's inside. Hey, supermarket tabloids? Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Maya, leave those alone. Wolfman found on Mars. I'll have to buy that issue. <laughs> An array of cosmetics here. According to Maya, that wig was used in some old TV show. Look, explain to me how you can identify a show just by seeing a wig. I uh, kind of like samurai movies. Kind of. Some regular suits and among the costumes here that must be Mr. Power's personal clothes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, we already saw this. Let me see inside. Fine. Move. Uh, back to the main gate, I guess. Alright, let's move to the detention center. Uh, the detention center visitor's room. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yeah. Sniff. Come Uh, do fanboys sneak into these studios often? No, not that I know of. That security lady's pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yeah, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I see. Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. Regarding the murder weapon, yes? Is it heavy, that spear? It's pretty hefty, yeah. I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. Hmm. And that's the spear that broke in something during the morning run-through? Oh yeah, I goofed on a round kick, you see? I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it for me right away, though. With duct tape, we heard. Regarding this photograph, yes? This really, truly, absolutely isn't you, right? Right. I was sleeping in my dressing room the whole time, honest. Who else could have been there? Your costume was in your dressing room? Yes. I guess they snuck in and took it while I was asleep. But who? You found this car key in your dressing room. Oh, that's mine, yes. Can people go inside these studios to get these cards? I don't think so. Even I have to return the card. Once the show's done filming, that is. Huh. Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that, whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way I could help you. Sorry. Let's talk to Maya. What do you think we should do? What do I, uh-huh? Why don't we do what you just said? We gotta get to scoop up this director and producer. All right, then there's no point hanging out here. That's what I've been saying. Let's get to the studio pronto. Hmm, we don't have enough information to make a case yet. Exactly the same thing you just said yesterday. Just a minute, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, there's not enough information. Ah! Uh, okay, that's fine. So there's something I missed in the studio then. So we're gonna, we're gonna go click around in the studio, I suppose. Maybe I can get... Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right, uh, let's move to, let's go back to the studios. Maybe I missed something. I'm just gonna click around for a bit. Uh, the security camera, two pictures. It's not on today.
Why don't they put his head back on? Maybe we should ask that assistant. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. You probably need a crane to move that thing. Probably so. I'm bush. Maybe I'll sit down for a bit. This is exactly why I don't get want to get old ever. Hey, I'm still young. I'm just tired. Nick, when you start having to say I'm still young, you know it's all over. But I am still young. It says welcome. They let people in here when they're not filming, right? Nick, let's come here someday. What do you say? Sure, if that security lady lets us in. Alright, let's go back to Studio 2 and see if I miss something. A big two painted here. Probably because this is Studio 2. Probably, though it doesn't look like anything like a studio. I already talked about this. something I'm missing. Okay, maybe there's a person somewhere. Maybe somebody moved somewhere. Uh, let's go back to Studio One. Just Let's just see. Did somebody come anywhere else? Back to Studio One. Nope. It's a backpack. Fine. Hey, look. That's the chair the director sits in. I might as well just, uh... I think I already. I think I already uh did that part. Hmm. Is that a clue? Hmm. All right. Um. Employee, I guess. Like I don't know. Uh, let's go to the main gate. Uh, let's go to the employee area. A window. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Um, we're not thieves. Well, we did take that card key. We borrowed that. There's a difference. Alright. Um, definitely missed something in the dressing room then. No clothes there. What else is there? No. I don't know what else that do. Okay. Uh, examine. Nope. Nope. What's that? Nope. And that. And that. And that. Look at the pretty sky. No clothes. Ma. What do you mean, no clothes? Uh, okay. The security guard station. Uh, must like junk food. Hmm. Tree!
Alright, um... Look, it's your studio. Alright, um, let's go back to my place. Um, let's go back to my place. We already died. I'm gonna examine my place. Here's the bell boy. Okay, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. You know, what if this really is Mr. Powers? Yeah, it's hard to say. We don't really know anyone else it could be. I seriously doubt it was that old wing guy. So Mr. Powers is lying? He really doesn't seem the type, does he? Curiouser and curiouser. Sorry, I don't know how this will help us figure this out. I wish I had my own samurai spear. You'd be my own personal pin cushion, Nick. Dang. Me? Why me? Hey, you still have that? Great. Well, we couldn't get into the scene of the murder without it. And its owner isn't missing it in his detention cell. Poor old WP. What else are we supposed to do? What am I missing in the studio? There's something I'm missing and I don't know what it is. I'm confused. There's nothing in studio two. Oh, I forgot about this side. Wait, I can slide? Oh my gosh, that changes so much. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. I can slide. So let me go to the other places. Alright, hold on. Let's go inside Studio 1. Ah. Can I move in the dressing room, maybe? Ah. Bruh. It's like... Rip it open. Hey, yeah! There. That should make the kids happy. The things we do. And I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't make you feel great to do a good deed like that and must be nice to live so free guilt. Wait, what? That's paint. Okay, wait. Hmm. Hold on. I have tech. Um, okay, wait. 
Wait, hold on. Episode three. Phoenix, right? Don't judge me. This is why I need to stream these things so people can tell me what to do. Um. Um. Day, what are we on? Day three? I don't even know anymore. Is there a child somewhere? Okay, hold on. Let's go back. What if I leave? I have an idea. I have an idea. What if I leave and then come back? Oh, wait. That's what I had to do. I tried to be a nice person and not move the grate, and that was the problem. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camel vest might do the trick. Kind of alternative guard fashion thing. So how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates of the steak bones? With the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah. Can you believe it? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular, a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old wine bag's eyes flash when she sees him. She's, uh, has a bit of trouble catching him, though. I heard something on the trial the day. Uh, blah, 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 blah. They said that the director and the producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop store's room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director. More the producer, really. The producer's are a real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Okay. Maybe now it'll reset and this will actually work. Let's try again. There we go. There we go. It's always a good sign when you get the text. This place is deserted. Haha! -ha. Nick? What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it, if they'll let us. There's nothing else to examine. I just have to keep going in places until someone appears. <laughs> huh? Who are you, Judo's LMAO? Huh? Wait, wait, you first. Who are you? You look pretty suspicious. Whatever, lamers. How could you not know the great Salamanella? Let's just. What? Huh? Really? You're the Salmonella? I'm so sorry, I just, you look so sorry, so sorry. No, no, quite all right, really. It's fine, R-O-F-L. What is it? You know, on closer inspection. Hmm, yeah, hot, hot, slobber. 
Hey, did you do a lot of cosplay? Cause that costume drool. Rock stores. What? Hey, you're drooling. Huh? Move. LOL. Buffer overrun. Pants. Are you a robot? You trigger my creative powers. Yes, yes, it's coming to me, Pink Princess. The sequel to Steel Samurai. Pink Princess Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. Uh, Pink Princess? Why's it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't I have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? My, I really need to talk about cool. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. That security lady told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run-through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. Heh. <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A T-bone steak, was it? Yes. Suckers, I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does suck sores mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon until 4 with the producer and some bigwigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer, who is at the meeting with you? Oh, you mean D. Vasquez? She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary, though. Sweats. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to four the whole time. Who exactly are these big wig big wigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network, some sponsors, also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray haired geezers. Hmm, sounds like they'll all be reliable witnesses. This is WP, right? How do you know? Well, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. Oh, right. The director would know about the injury. He was there. I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me, lol. Why are you staring at me like that? Weirdo. Uh, let's go back to the main gate. <gasps> oh, not old bag. <laughs> you again. Eek! How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume and told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet old little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess I would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone who has sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm. This lady's too much. Oh, that kid you saw. Let's see him again. I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. About the director. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, I think she's losing it. <laughs> Alright. Security guard station. Okay, um, security guard station. That's where we just came from, right? Um, let's go into Studio One just in case. Okay, 
hold on. Let's go talk to... Maybe he has a key. No? I'm confuzzled! Um... the employee area oh there he is i knew he'd come in here eventually hey hey wait i'll bet he came in right through that drain uh hey kitty oh what's your name sport i'm not a kid so don't talk to me like that uh-huh but you you are a kid what a rude little brat there's no way to talk to an adult i don't see no adults here hippie fashion chick uh hippie fashion Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Call me kitty -o again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. So, you're a fan of Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ha! Huh, ha! Huh, you can't fool me. Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha, huh, easy. Like some fries with that? Hmm, not bad, kitty -o. Watch it. What are they doing? <laughs> Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? Uh, you were here, weren't you? Hmm. Did you see anything? He, he. He always. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But no way I'm telling you, losers. What? Wait. Let me go. He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle. Why was this sitting here, I wonder? Sleeping pills. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Hmm. All right, maybe he went back to Studio Two or Studio One, probably. Huh. Where's that old wine bag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey, Nick. That was her. Stop, whippersnapper. Yep, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch. Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check at the gas station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Trailer key slipped into pocket. Alright, let's go to trailer 2. Figure out what the heck is going on. This is crazy. Uh, let's see if it works. It opened. Great. Let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Uh, not that eager. Studio 2 trailer. Oh. Ah! Uh, someone's in here. Names. Our names? Where WP's layers and, um... I see. And who might you be? This Vasquez, the Prusa. This Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez, script. Excuse me, script. I'm looking for a script. A script. The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Hmm. Can we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. 
we're getting nowhere fast. I would really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Ashworth, it's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's letting, telling us to go watch TV? The nerve of her! Hey, don't get mad at me. About the directors. Sal Manella, was it? What are exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see Manella, give him this. Why do you have... Why do we have to do your errands? I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright, we'll give it to him when if we see him. Okay, let's examine the room. Oh, there's a sign to set the Easter Steel Sandwich Show. They've got some figures. How much the set costs? I can't believe they spent that much money on those sets. This is where they had the meeting. There are documents and papers kept scattered around. This poster is quite old. Wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories. But it was great. A typical summer romance with a samurai on a horse. No movie poster. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Another old one. What do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh, that movie was the best. It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know? Singing samurai stars. What's next? Ninja ballet? The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This is far into October. The dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. Crumpled documents, eh? Alright, let's move. Dressing room, right? Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Uh oh. I need to find it. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. find the script. This is bogus. Oh wait, was I supposed to talk to him? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Nope. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Where's the script? What I hear. Oh, maybe it's in Studio One. Hold on. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need to get out of here quick, Nick. That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted the director M Maya. Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Ha! Huh. Found it, Nick. Good work. 
All right, let's go. Now we need to go back to the annoying lady in Studio 2. Here's your script. Now talk to us, lady. Here, we found it. Your script. Uh, script handed to G. Vesquis. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quite. I'm reading. Just you hold on. What's the big deal? Idea. Uh, what? <laughs> who do you think you are anyway? And, 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 do you even know who we are? Power is lawyers. Uh, right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but... Hmm. You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Yes. Anything that could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting at noon? Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after 3 o'clock. It was after 4 o'clock by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Every third one in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in his trail, stuck until after 4 o'clock. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. The crane came just after 3 o'clock to move the head. We called some people in to clear the web. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But wait, what if the head fell over at after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well, come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time. It oinks. Oops. One ook per arrow. Ook, ook, ook. Always with the ooking. It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Hmm. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4 o'clock. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammond died in studio at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Mr. Monkey's head data added to the court record. Hmm. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan out our strategy. <laughs> now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's an al everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Mia, it's you. What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What do you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But no way am I telling you losers. I don't know. It didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to those studios. The boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. to the studio and talk to that boy. Uh, do you have any idea of who he might have done this? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. I've never heard that phrase before. So that's where Maya got it from. Ooh. Oh, not wine bag. Huh. 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 
What's wrong? Huff puff. Huff puff. Wah. Whipper snapper. She's been chasing that boy this whole time. <sighs> when I catch him. I... <sighs> Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. <sighs> I got a hostage now, whipper snapper. A hostage? Uh, what happened to the boy? If I see him again, I'll lay him flat. My, what a violent old lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. <laughs> My heart. I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? <laughs> and the boy was running away. He dropped this and ran. He'll come back. It's kind of hard to stand with all this huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade? I wonder. I'm buying this, just so you know. Oh, okay. <sighs> Just be sure to give it back. She's not demanding when she's exhausted. <sighs> puff, puff. Hey there. That's a card. Studio One? Right. A card key to Studio One. I could... Is a poor hammer. I like to visit. He died. I was his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldbag? Studio One is in my turf. <sighs> you let me borrow it then? If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having depths to no whippersnappers. You, take this and we're even. Deal? What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figured it pretty important to him, though. <laughs> Thank you. I may have use for this. This might just, must be the hostage she was talking about. Hmm. Right. I'm off. Hobbling towards the studio. <laughs> What's up? Hey! Hey you, wait a sec. Phoenix. Was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Atkins. I think he ran into the dressing room. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! Dang it, he's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. How did she? Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's, uh, the bomb. Huh. What would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm, looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe, maybe a bribe? Cody, this looks familiar. Hey, my you are. You are, huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this if you help me. That's my card. By offering me something I already own, you're in effect skewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What do they teach kids these days? In school, quantum physics? <laughs> Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble. If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rare than ultra rare? 
Ultra rare premium cards are rarer than plain ultra car rare cards. Come on. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? What's that? Boring. How come my person be so lame? You were a superhero. You'd be lame, old man. The samurai spear. That's totally cool. I wish I had one too. This kid and Maya would get along great. Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The, uh, girl with you, does she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Uh, nope, she's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Have you seen that boy since then? Uh, nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I thought she collapsed. Of course, she got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old wine bag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. <laughs> Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Uh, yes. It's really terrible loss for the studios, but his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. What happened, bro? Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Uh, sorry. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh... You anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's it. That's the card I need. You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. Please, I beg you. Please trade with me. Trade with you? Trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me a huh? Uh, yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can you tell she's desperate? Uh, yeah, let's trade, let's trade. Alright. Really? Thanks. Now this is for you. Yahoo. There she goes. Doesn't doing good things make like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah, it does. Alright, um, so now we gotta go back to the boy. This is quite the investigating, bro. Alright, studio one. Let's go to, uh, main gate. Go into the employee area. And the dressing room. See this card? Yeah, so wait, that's it. That's the last ultra red preview card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Oh, I never seen him so eager. Right, okay. How about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in the evil magistrate to boot. No, no, no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Find my me. Alright, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If you know something that could help us, we can have him take that stand tomorrow. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Uh, back. So you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool. I, I guess. You're judging him by the looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh me, yeah, I love Steel Samurai. Just tell me what your favorite thing about Steel Samurai is. His fighting skills. Gotta think of something. I like it when he, uh, he vanishes, vanquishes his foes. Yeah, wazam! The Steel Samurai always wins, always! 
Check this out. It's my fan album. What the? It's all the pictures of. It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wizam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. That's a very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has an A. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took this, uh, these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. Alright. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Hmm. Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I saw... I saw everything. Well, well. You might get some useful information out of him yet. What did you see? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2 o'clock. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. He used his samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I see. Must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Uh, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who it could be, have, could have been, is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him, then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. Oh, no. I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. And he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You got a red... Red des... Vis, vis, me down and... What the? No, I ain't going. Wah. That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, uh... I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I think so. He's too stupid. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. We learned nothing. We did all of that and we learned absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, we'll check out the next part next time I decide to upload a video. Bye, guys.